cannot be neutral. Let me explain why. Good is not neutral. Good is never neutral. Oh man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Oh man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Oh man, take a look at my life. I'm 38 in a world of so much hate. I live alone in paradise, but it makes me think of two. Love lost such a cost Give me things that don't get lost Like a coin that won't get tossed I'm rolling home to you And old man, take a look in my life I'm a lot like you I need someone to love me the whole day through oh, my eyes and you can tell that's true lullabies are looking your eyes run around the same old town it doesn't mean that much to me to mean that much to you because I've been first and last look at how the time goes past but I'm all alone at last, rolling home to you. And old man, take a look in my life. I'm a lot like you. And I need someone to love me the whole night through. Oh, look in my eyes and you can say that's true. Oh man, take a look in my life, I'm a lot like you were Oh man, take a look in my life, I'm a lot like you were I do not have the luxury of neutrality. I am a father. And as every father should know, There is a right and a wrong way of doing things. It is not necessarily about being right or wrong, but what it is about is being true, staying true, authentic, sincere, loving, caring, all that is good. Know that all that is good is not neutral. All that is good opposes evil. And some will say that there is no evil in this world. I tell you this is not true because there are those who would manipulate you. Misunderstanding is the root of all evil. Understanding begets forgiveness. Understanding begets the relinquishment of attachments. Understanding is the ring that holds all keys. Understanding is a matter of willingness. How willing we are to understand each other and how willing we are to engage truth. How willing are you? Are you neutral in truth? Because all that is neutral is lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. And that which is not hot nor cold, I will rebuke. I will spit it out of my mouth because I cannot be this. I must draw a line in the sand right in front of me. And for all those who cross that line with me, I must be indiscriminate and unconditional in my response, meaning I do not play favorites. I do not do this because I like you. I do this because I love you. There is a big difference. If 
if I allow you to walk into quicksand, what kind of friend am I? If I stay neutral and watch you make a fool of yourself, what kind of friend am I? A true friend is not neutral in your corner. A true friend is never neutral in your corner. A true friend has your back. A true friend watches out for you. A true friend is there and will tell you what is up. They will tell you if you are doing something stupid. They will tell you if you are doing something well. They might not tell you too often that you're doing something well, but you will be able to tell from a true friend in how they are with you. They will not deceive you. They will be loyal to you. This is how I am. I have had many friends throughout my life. Many close friends. And we've all gone and gone our separate paths. And we will continue to. But there is something in the essence of a true friend that is unmistakable and can never be forgotten. And that is that they stood with you when others wouldn't. So understand that neutrality, though it is appealing because it keeps you out of the fire and out of the mess, is not what a true friend needs. What a true friend needs is someone who will stand with them in the fire. Someone who will be there for them in their pain and in their worst hours. Not necessarily to tell them what to do or how to be, but accepting of them as they are and willing to be there for whatever they need. I'm not busy telling my friends what to do. I'm not demanding that they know anything of me. For my friends laugh when I'm in their company. And if you're laughing, if you're having a good time, good. Keep it that way. Just understand that the world, they are our family too and they are our friends too. And if they suffer, we suffer. And so know that what is happening around the world is not just happening out there we, and we're not just hiding from it, believe it or not. What you are aware of and what you have the capacity to change, you are responsible for. Because responsibility is about your ability to respond. So if you have a, the ability to respond to something, it is in your responsibility. If you do not, then you are excused from it. My responsibility is great because I have the, the ability to respond to just about anything. There is nothing beyond my ability to respond on this earth. Now, leverage is a different question. The, the, the ability to respond and the ability to respond with leverage are two different things. But know that I am building leverage, that I am working towards leverage, so that through leverage, when my friends ask for something, I will be able to give it to them. And it's as we unite in a whole, not necessarily of neutrality, but we align with good. We align with what is good, with what is right, with what is true. Then we stand with all things that are good and with all things that are right and with all things that are true. And if we do not, then that which stands against this stands against us. That which stands against truth stands against me. This is why my stance must be strong. This is why my stance must be indiscriminate and unconditional. Meaning, if a challenge is thrown, it must be treated as a challenge. It doesn't matter who it comes from. I'm indiscriminate. I love you all, but I will treat it the same whether it comes from an enemy or a friend. My purpose is in line with the greater purpose. My purpose is in line with the whole. My purpose is in line with what is possible for us. Possibility.
Doubt and certainty are walls. Stay away from them both. Possibility is the way. It runs right up the middle. Possibility, a drop of possibility can destroy a wall of doubt. A drop of possibility can destroy a wall of certainty. There are no walls within me, for I will blow them all out. <sighs> there is only this, an oceanic abyss of possibility. And this is because I will not accept certainty or doubt in my company. Meaning, stay open to possibility. Only accept that which rings as truth for you. The road I must take is one I must take alone, and we are all called in our own unique and special ways. Mine takes me into the Hall of Judges to be judged, and in turn to judge. There is no rush in my step, and there is no slip in it either. All in its due time, all timing is divine. Do not talk to me about neutrality as if it is something that should be admired. Because neutrality is not good. Good is good. Good is not neutral. And guess what? Good always wins. Much love. Always. Be blessed. In all ways.